for, for this one. Santa Wolf Dale, Santa Jay, you alright mate? Santa ate that bit because I thought I wasn't somewhere going to be over here. How are you, Kusty? We're just down uh, Ramsgate Pier having a go. Water's all dirty and coloured. We got some bait left, we thought we'd have a go for a cod. We ain't going to catch one, we ain't daft. But we're going to have a go. I've got my boy with me. I don't know where he got off. <laughs> it's well past his bedtime. We've had loads of knocks. I was going to do a video, but I thought, you know what? Um, <coughs> I'm going to go live. <clears throat> Keep those people occupied at bloody 7 o'clock at night. Yeah, 11 o'clock at night. I'm just going to go and reel down some tension into these rods because there's not much tension, I might have to let them set all minute. Evening John, how are you mate? Which one is that? John's there mate, look John name. You know Johnny coming up with doing my boat? Oh yeah. That's John. I've got that, that left rod, it's so stiff. How you doing Sky Quake? Um, yeah that left rod's so stiff you like you can't put tension on it. It's really the phone like to try and get a to try and get a bend in a rod. It's really annoying. The right one is knocking away, to be honest with you. I'm using black lug, but I had left. Well, to be honest, with you, I bought two new packets of it. Um, this is such good lug. Happy days, Mickey boy. Yeah, I'm good, thank you, Sky. Quite more good in the hood, thank you. Try to get Alfie's first whiting. <laughs> no, the aim of the game is to try for a cod, but there's just no, there's not really any. Randy, they do get caught. One was caught just down the road from a mate of mine in Sandwich Bay. Um, yeah, look at that right rod. That's a solid knock. Hang on.
pretty little whiting, little pin whiting. What I'm going to do is now is uh, I'm putting him on his live bait just over the underneath the bridge, underneath the pier. Yeah, Rod. I've got this set up for pipe, but I'm big at using cart rods. I'm gonna try. Oh, I'm gonna kill it. This is just going over the edge. Basically, I'm just going to leave this here with a bait runner on. Never know. The bass might slam it. Probably not, but you never know. And that's that one done there, and I'm just going to leave that there. And then... I'm going to smash the... Uh... I need to put a two-up flapper or something on, I think. I need to have a look to see if I can find a two-up flapper, because I'm fishing bloody pulley dropper rigs. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a big fat cuttlefish bait on and then if anything can grab that it's worth having isn't it so I'm going to give you back to the boy Al, camera do is Kev this fish got something yeah.
Right, so. Not a good cameraman, just We've got one big fat cuttlefish bait out. And uh, one out that's got worm, and then one out of live white under a float. So it's all just hit and hope stuff. You never know what's out there, man. You never know. I wish I did have some PPE, mate. I should have known I was going to get smashed by whiting down here, but with a big cuttlefish bait on. There's loads of congas been passing through here. I've seen on the boats and stuff. Whether they're going to be coming in, in, in close, I don't know, but uh, I won't know until I try. But that big fat cuttlefish bait, if anything takes that, it's got to be worth looking. The other one. It's a really stiff rod, and uh, no, it's not snaggy at all, Jay. It's not, it's not snaggy at all, mate. Well, it's actually longer. It's just sand. With your toothbrush. Okay. That's the big tool. Uh, but yeah, the, the left rod um. has been a right pain in the ass. I can't seem to get my. I don't know if I need to solder the lid or something. I don't really know, but it's not gripping in. I can't get a, a bend in the rod. So that white is moving about nicely on a, under that flow. Um, that's annoying, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just a, it's just a hit and open kind of game, really. Oh, I'll give up. Too much. But yeah, is everyone ready for Christmas and that? Yeah. Tell you what, it'd be nice if that little cart rod goes. I've only got a size six car pick on it, but if I can hook a if I can hook a bike on that size, then um, I can hook a bass. You know what I mean? Not that it's going to happen, but that, like that, that white and his live and kicking, the water's coloured, so it shouldn't really be any bass around here. I might chuck over the, the uh, marina wall actually. To be honest with you, there wouldn't be any bass. I'd be in there. In fact, that ain't a bad idea. I'm going to do that in a second. Um, I'm out to about white, high tides at twenty past one, mate. So. Yeah, it's quite, quite, I'm, I'm not too bad. I'm, I'm sort of half ready. I'm half ready. I'm um, not, not half ready. So. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you in the Say happy days to Mick. Say happy days, Mick. Say happy days. Why not? Mick's my mate. Say happy days to Mick. Who's nine yours nowadays? Honestly, I think they're gangster. I'm going to chuck that white and over in that marina quick. Give me two seconds. Well, that would be the place I'll get one. Sandy, look. I'm gonna get a white, and if I'm gonna get a bass anywhere, it's gonna be in here. So clear of water. So we'll see if your cart rock can produce. Yeah, fishing on the white, you know what? 
I had a, I had hard days fishing, man. I struggled to be honest with you. I don't know what it was. Just anything I'd done just weren't working. It's just one of them ones. But the boys had a good day. I was still having good fun. Pete, what's happening, mate? Um, it was good. To, I just like going out. Do you know what I mean? I love going out. It's a different adventure. Whitby's a really nice place. To be honest with you, it's a really bloody nice place. But I don't know what I expected, but it weren't that. I sort of expected like a massive council estate or something, but it's not. It's like a proper little, lovely little cat like village, village uh, lovely little sort of village place with loads of character. So I was quite happy with that, to be honest with you. It made it was a, it was a nice surprise. <sighs> He's out well past his bedtime. Look at that, eleven sixteen. But yeah, it was a, uh, it was, it was good. It was good to get out. It's good to get a few infamous cod. They're really not that infamous if you go to the right place. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just a matter of going to the right place. Like, I think if you can catch one down here and it's a good size, then you. I don't even think you put it down to skill. I think it was lucky, to be honest with you. No, you don't need any 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 permissions at all, JJ. It's it's literally it's open 24 hours a day. You can fish it 24 hours a day. Um, pardon? You can live here 24 hours if that's what you want to do. Um, yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's 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 all access. Do you know what I mean? You can come here anytime you like, and you can park fish from your car, which is good in this cold weather. So yes, it's 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 worth coming down here. I'm, I, I never have much luck when I come down here, to be honest with you, but like I said, there's been a few cod caught down the road. Um, yeah, it's worth a go. <laughs> it's Ramsgate, Ramsgate Pier, Mick. Can't miss it. 32 people for 11 o'clock at night. That's quite a good going. Happy days. Like I said, I was going to do a video, but you know what? I thought I ain't been live in a little while. I'm gonna go and do a little live video. Ramsgate's looking pretty today, which is unusual. Now nah, Ramsgate's actually quite pretty. To be honest with you, it's like anywhere in it has its nice bits and it has its rough bits. Oh, my shoes are going back up. I wonder if there are any bass in this marina. I really do. It'll smash that live one. That left rod over there, I'll give up a bit. I'll leave it out and really at the end of the day and find out how big my pin white is. But I'm gonna be going up uh, going back up to northeast to do some shore fishing up there. Just sort of knock that one off the list. And then uh I don't really know, I've got to get Christmas sort of done. There's a massive storm up north. But there's a massive storm everywhere end of the week through Christmas and then sort of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday it's going to be sort of a calm after the storm so that's when I'm going to start going to rip some cod and then turn the water over and whatnot. Gary, only white and mate. Um, that is so funny. But yeah, the cod videos that do well, like people like watching the cod videos so obviously that's what I'm going to focus on doing. I like to keep everyone happy. Like, of course, I love my big game, do you know what I mean? I really do love my big game fishing, but it just don't do very well on YouTube. People like fishing that you can relate to, and that's, that's, they can't relate to things like that a lot of the time, do you know what I mean? Um, I haven't fished Anglesey, Chris, no. I've got so many places on my list. Yeah, you can fish it low water, Mick. You can fish it low water, mate. You fish it all, it's literally all tides, like, there's always water here. I think I could literally put like a 20 hook flapper on. Gary, that, that's that's good news to be honest with you, mate. It's good cod, cod fishing down there, isn't it? It's, there's a lot of good cod, good, a lot of good, good coalies as well. I was speaking to my skipper and it's unusual because a lot of people usually go for the dirty water for the cod, but he says, see when it clears up in the summer, you're pulling off 10, 20 pound cod off the wrecks and they're all in shore, like less than a mile in, in close. Do you know what I mean? So it's, 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 uh, it's something I'm going to be doing next year, that's for sure. Cod have never really fascinated me massively, but after having that little cod the other day, they do fight well, and I think it's the infamous side of them, where people, obviously up north, not north east, you're, you're opposite Norway, so it's sort of in your favour, and you haven't got the French boats absolutely dragging, dragging the granny out of your, your sea. Around here, it's pretty rubbish. 
Happy days, Sky Skyquake. Thank you very much for coming on anyway. And have a good Christmas. JJ, for guaranteed catch, it depends what you want really. If you want to catch white in and you're just happy to catch white in, then anywhere in the south east this time of year. Um, you could literally, like I say, put a 20 hook, 30 fl hook flapper on and you will catch 30 white in. Um, it's a lot past your bedtime, mate. How much? But, yeah, it's, it's, it's one of them ones. It depends what you're into catching, really. Obviously, in the summer, in the spring and summer, you've got, the, you've got the smooth hands run through and you get them some good size. I've had them up to 14 pounds off the beach. Fishing on the white, my boat's going... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm vigilance up for sale. Vigilance going to be sold, and then I've, I've got the video where I caught the tuna, where me and my mate had a double hook up. That boat, I'm going in on him. I'm going in with that guy on that boat. So basically, that's going to be my half my boat, uh, and that is moored up in. Well, it'll be moored up down by Littlehampton Gosport Way. So the other way will be for a bit of fishing. Do you know what I mean? That'll be where I'll be sort of heading. Obviously, you got your freshers in there as well. So I'll be, I'll be. I'll be on the freshers and the poor beagles in the summer. But I'm not going to do too much of that because, again, I'm, I'm going to try and range it up again. I'm going to try and grow the channel a bit this year, next year. Um, so, yeah, just, just I'm going to be doing a bit of everything, really. Going to be doing a lot of uh, wreck fishing. That's in the end of the list. Yeah, mate, Baz, I'm at, I'm at Ramsgate, mate. Sunny Ramsgate, just off the pier. Nothing massive. <laughs> just... Uh, I've got a massive cuttlefish bait on in the hope that either a cod or a, or a uh, conga run through. I mean, it, it, you're sort of pissing in the wind a little bit, if I'm honest with you. But it, I've got sick of whiting already, so yeah, just big baits. I've got a live whiting over here on this rod here, just a little carp rod with a single look on it under a float, a live whiting inside the marina. I don't think they're meant to fish it, technically, but I'm not exactly hurting anyone, so. And there's a ladder down there, so I'll send my boy down there to get the bass. Right. <laughs> yeah, there's some pucker bassing over there, mate. It really is. Even in the Solent, I found like a, 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 a sandbank which they sit, sit either side of it. And honestly, when I had uh, one of my videos down there, there's a video of me catching a. What did I catch down there? Blom Road, caught Blom Road and some other fish down there and we were smashing the bass out on the lures. It was so much fun on light gear. Yeah, Lady Hands, that's Jason Parrots in it, Lady Hands, Baz. I've been out in better days a few times. Dan's a lovely geezer, but the fishing was a bit... It weren't the best, but again, it's not his fault. I've had good days out of him, so... PW, I've, I haven't, mate. I'm afraid. Um, I was sponsored my ch my chart plotter and whatnot, so that's coming with me, mate. That's going to be coming onto the new boat. I'm just going to give it to me boy. I'm just going to go and check to see if that's got a white, white, yeah. I'm not a camera person, but you can pass it. Yeah, pass it. I'm going to go and see if there's white. Cuttlefish bait is down on that. And then I'm just going to leave them, leave them out there. Well, I'll tell you what, this cuttlefish is horrible stuff. I'll tell you what, actually. 
I'm going to put a bit of cart on there. That's most horrible. Yeah, it's not No, I know, it does smell like some Christmas pudding. I'm aiming it back over at the woods, alright? Alright? I'm putting it back over at the woods so I don't have to bloody hold it. Because it's bloody annoying.
top part on that one. Oh, so that the man there? So cold. So cold? Something yeah. like that. Clearly, that's about a thousand degrees. Um. Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna be. Dano! Where's Dano at? See people saying hello, Dano. Dano! What's happening? You beautiful man. Gay boy. Gay boy. <laughs> he knows, doesn't he? <laughs> So I'm just trying to keep up with the comments. Mate, there's nothing legal about this van. Mick, it's a nightmare, mate. I've got a log wedged in between two wheels as well. Sorry, I'm just trying to keep up keep with everything. Always PW, I'm not, trust me. There's many a man who wakes me out there and I don't care. One day I'll have a million subscribers. One day. Um, Nicola, yeah. what's happening? Right Touch Fishing, Custy, Lloydy, South Coast, what's happening, mate? What size weight are you using, mate? Uh, I'm using six ounces at a minute. Jay, they're holding bottom. We've got two cart, you know, cart fingers where you get the finger bandage and then you ram it down. With uh, with cart. That's what I've uh, that's what I've got on one, and on the other one I've got uh, a big cuttlefish bait. Oh, if I need that light, mate, it's pitch black in here. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Reef. What's happening, Mick? Jay, Christy, Stuart. Sorry, I'm just trying to catch up with everyone. It's hard work. I don't know if I've done something to the chat. No, chat's crusty. Yeah, that'd be days. I'm not expecting... If anything goes on them rods now, we're expecting a good fish because they're big, massive baits. We're not here to hunt white him. We've hunted one white and, and he's out of the live bait, so... We'll see. He's still live and kicking that live bait, so he's a bat, he's swimming about. It's bat, but it's late for bass, do you know what I mean? What's happening, Rach? Right touch of fishing, that is a bit gutting, but take care of yourself anyway, man. And thanks for coming and joining me while you could. I've hit just over 2,800 subscribers now, which is cool, man. Sorry, Pete, I'm just trying to put the phone in charge. Charging what? Charging, is it? Charging? Yeah, it's charging. Ah, uh, Timothy, thank you very much for sharing the post. You're a good old boy, aren't you? Uh, honestly, I'm Kirsty Rakes, thank you. Mick, honestly, mate, this, see this geezer here? He thinks he's an absolute double R cheeseburger with extra bacon. Honestly, the way it goes on sometimes, bubbles about the gaff and that. Oh, Kirsty Baz. Who's that? Uh, Fisherman's Corner, is it? Is that Fisherman's Corner? The guy with the glasses. Yeah, he's me mini rake shitbag. <laughs> Dave, not long, mate. Uh, don't know, about 40 minutes, something like that. I'm got sick of whiting bites and whiting, so I've, I've just switched over to massive baits now. And just, to, just to hope, man. Just to hope. My mate caught a nice codling. Well, I say nice. It's 40 centimetres, and that was just down the road in Sandwich Bay. Um, so, just yeah, to win it, ain't it, man? Do you know what I mean? Fisherman's corner, that's it, mate. Yeah, that's it. Isn't it the win it, man? Don't we? Do you know what I mean? It's just one of them ones. 
I ain't gonna catch, I'm not gonna catch a massive thing. Christmas is coming up. <coughs> Trying to get out as much as possible at the minute. Just keep plugging away, keep catching fish, keep blanking, keep having a go, do you know what I mean? Just, just going for it, man. Jay, it all depends, mate. Yeah, Andy, that's when my mate had that cod in. Well, it was in October, do you know what I mean? So it's a couple of months ago now, but still. That's the only coddling I know that's been caught around here this year so far. It was only a month ago. Uh, yeah, it's dead down there, isn't it? I want to work today actually. I only, I, I only go and take some photos. It's making me a day's money, so I wouldn't have done it. But as a rule, I, I'm off till the fifth now. Yeah, cod are well odd. Honestly, the other day they were just like, they, were, they weren't smashing baits. Getting known loads of bites. Um, JJ Burn, well it depends what I'm fishing for in, in regards to weather mate. Obviously your smooth hands, you want the water crystal clear. Um, I look for a night tide on the smooth hands around here. Um, that does the job. Sort of same for the bass really. Uh, obviously cod, you want your muddy water as a rule. Dirty water after a storm. Um, a lot, I'm still learning on the sea fishing man, I'm no expert. Far from it in fact. Far from an expert. Well, I'm, 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 I've not done bad for a year sea fishing, that's for sure, so. I'm an obsessive, I'm an addict, do you know what I mean? I get, I, I'm, addic I'm addicted to fishing, man. I've swapped one for one addiction for another addiction, and that is why Angry and Anxiety was made. Because I'm just an addict, I'm, like, I'm just addicted to fishing. But it keeps me in Australia now, I just have. Can't mind, really. Yeah, does this one move in and out, too? Hey. Eh? Right, so what do you want for Christmas? I don't know, anything. Anything? Yeah, uh, fidgets. Fidgets? It's all he wants, fidgets. He's got about 3,000, isn't he? Yeah, he's already got a big drawer full of them indoors, but he wants more fidgets. All I want for Christmas is everything to go back to normal. I'm sick and tired of all this crap, man. I really am. But if it wasn't that, all you'd want for Christmas is like fish and stuff. Yeah, I wouldn't mind a bit of fish and stuff as well, mate, to be honest with you. Yeah, Rach's obsessed with them, isn't they? Literally obsessed with them, mate. Nothing on the live bait, Rod. Surprisingly. <laughs> Mick, I bet you ain't as bad as his language when I catch him. Cheers, Baz. Thank you very much, mate. Are you a new subscriber, Baz, or are you, are you have you been on a while? Kirsty, Kirsty Rakes, take care, man. Have a lovely Christmas if I don't speak to you before round. And a happy new year. Oh, happy days, Baz. Happy days, mate. I appreciate every single sub. I'm not one of these who sits out here begging for donations or none of that. I just appreciate everyone, man. I really do. Sorry. <laughs> happy Christmas, Rach. I thought I had a little knock on the old live bait rod then. Aye. Well, it's sighted. Yeah, but that, when we run that Chinese leg above yesterday, that was so I'll tell you what we done earlier, people. Whoa, got a solid bite on that left rod. Was that left rod? Was that bite or what? Hang on, because that left rod's still walking. How's that? Oh, yeah, Captain.
don't know what happened here. That was solid. That rod went flying, mate. <laughs> it's got a massive, massive, uh, massive bait on it as well. Might have been a big wave, you never know. A big wave, is that what you reckon? I don't know what that was. It's not even overly windy out there, really. So that was, a, that was, I don't know. It's probably the geezer that's just up the road on the pier. He's probably just dragged me in. <sighs> Stinker crab. Yeah, I don't know if I said I did say, but I can't remember if I finished saying what I was saying. I think them uh, cart, cart fingers, like it's like a bandage, and you stuff it with carts. It's an odd way of fishing, but seems to be doing the job in, in, in a lot of places. So it's very new down here. Sorry? What is it, like a little band? Yeah, and a finger bandage, mate. You stuff it out with fish. Oh, yeah, I've seen them on YouTube. Seen them on YouTube, have you? Mm -hmm. What channel was you watching then, hypocrite? Probably. Hey? Probably. <laughs> I don't care what I watch. I don't care what I watch it. You watch a load of rubbish on YouTube, mate. You need to watch Angling Anxiety, mate. That's what you need to watch. I watch your channel sometimes. Oh, yeah, so I watch that then. That's what I'm interested in. Yeah. Good to know you watch my channel. It'll be your channel one day. I'm building a future for you. No, I don't want a channel. And Cardigan Bay, you gotta watch Cardigan Bay as well. <laughs> and Inglorious. And Smash Fishing. In your dreams, pal. <laughs> In your dreams, pal. <laughs> uh, left rods and a little wonkers again. I see it. Sort of I don't know, it's odd, it's odd. It's a stiff rod as well. It's a die with a uh, sea hunter. What is it, that little one? Mm, no, the one that's lower down, it's not little. Oh, yeah, they're yeah. ruthless though, isn't they? <laughs> Honestly, pretty ruthless. Don't know why that's your rights. I think this is alright, that's Don't talk rubbish. I mean, I'm being serious. Oh, no, no. There's a lot of wind up here to be honest. There's more wind than I thought there was going to be. A lot more wind. That's... And that, that's a lot of the problem. I'm casting out and I'm getting a big bow in my line and then trying to trying to reel down into the slack to find the find attention. I'm having trouble with that oh my tonight. Chop my nose off. Did I just something about you? That's you. Yeah, he's mouthy. He's fully mouthy, honestly. Then I'll be talking about me over there. <laughs> I'm talking about you, your mate. Oh, that's right. Oh, what would be the consequence if I was talking about you? Oh, punch you. Oh, my God. I'll punch you so I need to scream on camera. Scream on camera. Thank you. Sound like a temper effort, mate. Oh, someone's hard. Someone's been drinking tequila bombs. <laughs> That's what happens, mate. That's it now. It's going to be the last one. Get yourself back. Go on, lay your head down. Nice. Lay your head down, mate. Right, this is a beauty. Someone's going to ring the police on here. Should we get the garbage in here next? Come on, stop now. You stop. Oh, no. Okay, 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 okay. You okay? What's the matter? <laughs> I think my ear hurts. Your ear hurts, okay. I've got an ear infection. Ear infection, okay. Oh, get over there. Where's that torch? What's that gone off for? I've turned off because he broke the battery and you're telling me not to waste the battery. <coughs> Cars. I think cars just come sit on this pier and just be anti-social, do you know what I mean? What, so they just come in and sit and then like... Yeah, basically. They don't actually fish in, they're just being anti-social. <laughs> like, he's got no fishing rods, he's just literally up here just to go and do something illegal. It's probably going to go break into that building. We ain't going to find much, is he? A few crabs. Maybe, I wonder if 
Barrett's. Are you not out on the old boat down at some point soon, brother? All the dogfish have moved it offshore, which is good. Dogfishing? Something along them lines, Mick. <laughs> no, dog, dogs, all the dogs, no, I've got dogs in here, no. Um, the dogfish have moved offshore, so there's no dogfishing, so. Mm -hmm. Seems like one of you fishing that cocoa robin. Mind you, you quite like a dogfish, you know, actually saying have you seen a dogfish down when we went to the beach that time, didn't we? We picked yeah. it up. And they're quite a cool fish dogfish. Just a pain in the arse with you. My finger looks so out of date. Your finger looks out of date? Yeah, like that bit of it look. Oh look at that. Poor little finger. Oh look, get out of it. Yeah, that's it. And I'll go and buy this of a nine year old, keep a receipt. I always take it back when I get mouthy. What? Oh. Where's your guard at? Oh. I'm trying to beat me up like a little girl. You don't want to hurt me. Yeah. <laughs> You're funny. It's your pocket book, Uncle. He's got his full quilt in that. Didn't you love it when he was a kid? Or you just have to uh, you get all your quilt in that and you go out in the car. I love all that. I might get him to drive back and I might sit in the quilt. <laughs> I'm not, you can have the quilt, I'll just have this blanket. Thanks. No, you have one pillow though. Because I only want two. I don't know what's up with that left one, I'm going to have to go and check in a minute. Good. Yeah, I'm not being the cameraman again. There's a toad. Only white in. Yeah. What boat are you out on, Craig? You out on Aunt Ilse's boat, or you out on a uh, Jeremy Oilers? What was your name, Jeremy Oilers? Oh, look at the guy. Have a look at that left rock. He's doing me. Better. Yeah, Aunt Ilse's boat. Happy days. Good luck, to you man. Who knows, get any? I was going to go Dungeness tonight, that's where I was going to go. Yeah, no, I was going to go. I was going to go to I decided to come in because we all wanted to come. Right, I'm just going to check out left, left real quick. I'm just doing my swaying.
Ah. Put it in that funny face, one. What face? That's my mum's face. My cold face gets like my clothes again. Every time it punches me, statue will be freezing. Oh, I'll tell you what, there's a horrible wind out there. It's coming to sideways, straight in front of All my life, it's just taking my line all down that way, so it's a pain in the bum. I'm going to give it another 20 minutes off hour and I'm going to call it day because it ain't meant to be. I'm sleeping on the way back. Oh, yeah, you're driving, I'm sleeping. I need to stop at McDonald's, I'll drive you. Oh, if I stop, if I drive, if you, if you drive, we'll go to McDonald's, yeah? No. We've got to go to Christmas shop and get your mum a present, Mum. Oh, are you? Yeah. No, I'm not getting mum a present. No, I'm not getting mum a present, it's just your mum. I don't care. Well, you are, mate. You're going to start getting nice. Um, it's not horrible. What, mate? You can just buy a prank, because you Yeah, well, I'll come with you, but you've got to pick a present, mate, do you know what I mean? Yeah, a necklace. Yeah, well, it's all good sound a necklace, but you've got to pick what necklace. Oh, any necklace. The one with a love heart on it. Simple as that. The one with a necklace with a love heart? Yeah, I know you should give that to Mum. Okay. You've got to wrap it up, mate. Yeah, I'll wrap it up. There's probably some fault that's got to go into it, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'll wrap it up, but I'm not bloody going. Why not? Because... I like going, I hate it so much. I don't like going out shopping. I couldn't even care, we've got like three PS5s and like a mini Xbox. Well, we'll get some, we'll get some petrol. We'll get some diesel on the way back, we're popping out McDonald's if it's open. Oh yeah, like I'll get about seven hash browns. Hash browns, they're not breakfast time. Well then what do they sell? They're not Big Macs and cheeseburgers. Yeah, normal stuff mate, it's normal hours at the minute. I'm going to have some chicken selects. Well, don't get yourself too hyped up for it, because it might not be open. Well, if it is, I'm going to have chips and that. Mick, yeah, I have recovered from it. Um, yeah, I can't wait to get back out there. Well, Mrs. ain't too keen to go back out there, so... Um, I'm going back out there. I'm going at least, I'm going for a couple of days. I'm going to go on my own if I was going to no, I'm just going to go to literally just strictly for fishing. I want to go and get a swordfish, man. I get a swordfish in England. What's that then, Matt? Um, yeah, I want to get a swordfish. That's what I want to do. But then I want to book, I want to get a holiday booked and we'll start saving the pennies and get one booked for America. I want to catch a mako off the beach and I want to catch pennies. a great white shark. Obviously, the great white shark's got to come as a bycatch, catch. Uh, but that. yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to go to America. I've same. been to America before but never fishing. I've been to New York and Canada but I've never actually been fishing over there. Um, oh, I'm the Clark J. Paul. And I get this year as well, I 100%, next year sorry, I'm going to catch a shark off of a UK beach. Okay. If you do go to America, I'll be on J. Paul. They are protected Dave, yeah, but they can be caught. Like, there's a geezer I've got on there at the minute, he's catching three a day, all over a <coughs> thousand pound. Um, Smack them straight in the chin. But yeah, they are protected and such, but he catches them. It's a bit like tuna, isn't it? Over here. But regardless, anyway, there's some serious fishing. Yeah, the boys here, Dano, yeah. Mouthy Alfie. Go over the Isle of Wight, give me a shout, West Wight Angling Centre, my car will look after you. So I'll sort you of some numbers for some blow marks. Rob, thank you very much, mate, you're a diamond. Like I said earlier, but I've got a. Uh, yeah, I know, it's a joke, Dave. I've got a. Uh, my, my boat, the new boat, is going in. Uh, it's going in the water. Well, it's in the water. Uh, down by Littlehampton, so the Isle of Wight is going to be my spot. I have to try and remember that because I don't see the comments once it sends West White Angling Centre. I don't know if it's too much like hard work, but if you could uh, message Angling Anxiety Page, let me double down there because I'm just, I won't be able to remember it. Dave, Quicksilver 640, mate. Diesel inboard. I'm sick of towing about now. I've had my, I've had my lot of towing. I love boating. I love boat fishing. I hate towing. Just the problems that comes with it, man. It's just so much ag. Thank you very much. You're a diamond, Rob. Cheers, man. Yeah, Dad, oh, yeah, he is, mate. He's a lot more mouthy than me when I was nine, though. Eh? Yeah. 
I'll tell you one thing I had when I was up in the North East, for anyone who's, who's watching. Um, yeah, it, I, you, I love the freedom with it, yeah, but it's the, it's the ag that comes with it, man. When I go out for fishing, I put my boat on my drive and I forget about it for a couple of days. But that's not the way it needs to be done. You need to take everything off, clean it. I just don't do it. I'm knackered. I drive all over the bloody country. I do six, seven hour drives, sometimes 10, 11, 12, do you know what I mean? And that's the thing. Um, uh, it busts me, but and when I get home, I just I ain't got it in me to clean it. But you need to clean it. You need to keep on top of your bearings. You need to wash your bearings, wash your engine out. You know what I mean, my engine's solid. I always wash my engine out, but I never did my bearings. Um, I wash them down with the hose, and that's about as far as they go. But that's that's quite fired me now because the other day my wheel came off and smashed the, smashed the motor. So and I've now had an insurance claim, and I've got three wheels in my trailer. The bearings will be here tomorrow, so they're getting fitted. But it's just the whole situation of it is just a pain in the bum. And uh, honestly, the amount of money it costs, everyone that comes out of me, well, a lot of people that come out of me, like, they like bring, like, if I say, right, it's going to cost, so what's it going to cost? And I say, I don't know, probably £100 or something. Um, and then they'll bring £100. So then if it comes over £100, or if something, if we need a bit more diesel than normal, or uh, little things like, I have to pay the dark charge and things like that, and then, like, none of that gets brought into consideration. So it's always a bare minimum that people pay. And in the end, I end up paying it. I'm spending out hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, and then I'm like, I, I, I might as well go and pay for a charter. Do you know what I mean? Like that's the thing. Whereas with, with that boat being down by the Isle of Wight, I've got the fresher sharks down there, poor beagle sharks down there. I reckon the tuna are going to move down there next year because they could accidentally get caught. Um, and you've got good bass fishing good congas, good wreck fishing, everything sort of there, minus the massive poor beagles in March. Um, I've got a skate trip booked up with Ian from uh, On Your Marks out of uh, Stanra in, in uh, March. Two days of skate fishing with him. He's so cheap, £280 it is. So, yeah, and you can fish four anglers. You think what that works out as to catch bloody battleships. Good. Good money. That's how I'm going to go. Okay. I'm just beginning. We're going to do. We're going to do the flood tide and the ebb tide. We're going to be here to about five in the morning. Oh, I'm going to sleep tonight. Tell them that. Tell them you're going to sleep for eight. I'm going to stop talking rubbish. No. Okay. Yeah, that's what. <laughs> That's it. I'm up for a bit of that, man. I need to get it finished to get to know I make sure it works. Yes, yeah, it is nice towing about. I love it. And the other thing is, as well, is you got to have a car. My car's got an habit of going into limp mode when I'm towing it. Don't like the pressure. I don't know why. Um, and then trying to get it sorted, I just can't. Do you know what I mean? I can't get it sorted. I don't know why. It needs to go into a Mitsubishi dealer, but then it's just again, it's all money. And uh. I, I just don't got it. I'm not working. I'm not working. I'm it off. Um, so yeah, you need a good. Well, it's nice if you've got enough money there to say, do you know what? I've got a brand new trailer from a boat and a brand new car to tow it with. Then towing my boat wouldn't be an issue. But it, it, I just ain't. Do you know what I mean? I got to work. I got to pay rent. Do you know what I mean? I'm not a millionaire. I just got a normal job. That friend of yours has a mate. And yeah, that's having having the skills and, and the knowledge to be able to do that, Dave, is, is brilliant. I, I, I haven't got the. I try and fix things and I break them. I do, I'm better off leaving them than I am trying to fix them. Imagine being president. Imagine being president? Yeah, that I tell all the children that there's another school for like four years. Imagine being president, they tell all the teachers, all the kids that there's no school for four years. Oh, life aspirations, eh? Mm, and if there's no work for 10 years and you could rob that one bank every week and you wouldn't get arrested, well you could but only for like 3 days. I would love that I'd rob a bank every week. You'd rob a bank every one week. Oh mate. How you doing Wayne? Merry Christmas mate. I'm not too bad. No cod. Today. Oh my god. 
Where's your robot? There you go. But I'm at it, mate. I'm having a go. Last little session before Christmas. I can't keep going out. She'll murder me. Um, so yeah, I've just got to, this is just the last little session. I'm going to wait for the storm to blow up for the weekend over Christmas and then I'm going to go up north east. Um, and I'm going to have a go out there. I guess you can climb for a cotter for sure. Oh, uh, Mick, I, I sort of know how to do it, yeah, but I ain't an expert, that's for sure. Take care, Dave, mate. See you in a little while. <laughs> we need to sit in properly. We'll go soon, right? Give it 10 minutes, we we'll go. And then you need to slap on the head. No plans for the new year, Wayne? Well, untold plans, to be honest with you, mate. Um, a lot of wreck fishing. Some cod fishing. Up North Fumbling. Um, I'm going to catch a shark off the beach, but a full on full size shark. I'm going to catch a poor big off the beach. Yeah, it's been done by a bycatch, I'm going to target him. Um, I don't know, Mick. Uh, we'll do a bit more. F uh, I like a bit of river carping in the summer as well. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I like to vary it up, and it's something I really do enjoy doing, so I will be doing it. Um, so yeah, a bit of river carping. What else? Just generally just still trying to learn a trade as it were, do you know what I mean? And just, just going all around the country and just doing different kinds of fishing, but from like my point of view, like I'm not a pro angler, do you know what I mean? I can catch sharks, I'm, 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 I class myself as a good shark angler, um, a big game angler, but when it comes to beach fishing and things like that, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, brilliantly knowledgeable, do you know what I mean? So I'm learning, so it's, I find that it's good if I'm going around learning, other people can watch and they can learn with me, do you know what I mean? Like, and sometimes, I, I when I, before I'd even thought about starting a YouTube channel, I used to watch YouTube channels with just people going fishing, like they weren't like, so this is how I do this, and this is how I do this, and uh, yeah, I'd, I'd, like, obviously it's good to have in videos, but you should have in video, like, I'll just go out, I'll do my own thing, I haven't got no fancy editing, I just, I'm just out here just having a bit of fishing, do you know what I mean, that's just that, just it, just having a bit of fishing man, that's, that's how I'll do it, it keeps me straight and narrow, keeps me off the warpath, keeps me, my mental health in a straight place, and that's, 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 that's me, do you know what I mean, that's, that's what I love it, so. but yeah, some good adventures, do you know what I mean. Got fishing. I want to try for a congro around Japan next year. Hello, Diana. Yeah, I want to try and get a congro around Japan. I got some big. I love big fish. Do you know what I mean? Like, big fish don't make good videos. That's for sure on YouTube. I've learned that. Do you know what I mean? I caught a bloody forty kilo big eye tuna the other day on on a 40, on a twenty pound class rod. It's not even got a thousand views, but it's, it's about. But I do love big fish, do you know what I mean? I love I love I love catching massive fish. I love looking at a fish come through the water, seeing the colour and thing Do you know what I mean? That's what really does make me hard. I love it. But on the other end, I want to be a universal channel, do you know what I mean? So I want to go out and I also like little fish, do you know what I mean? Like red band fish and things like that and I like trying for different fish. It's not just all about the big fish. I just want to do a lot more stuff. A lot of people can't get out, especially watch my channel. Um, a lot of people can't get out and do fishing, so they watch my channel to sort of put themselves in a situation where they're sort of fishing, do you know what I mean, if that makes sense. So, a lot more of this, pier fishing, beach fishing, just general fishing, man. Obviously, when the hounds are coming, I get the hounds, I'm going to go out on the hounds again, on the carp rods. Um, yeah, just, just, just 
Germany to start the Germany. Show some chicken as well. I'll, get, I'll bring this Rex. Yeah, that's it, Mick. Do you know what I mean? That's it. I, I do, I do. I think there's more to and about, to and fro in and stuff when I got to do a video when I'm out with someone. But I mean, if I go out with strangers or if I go out with people I don't quite know or if I'm with, I there's a few people that I can't quite be myself. The old anxiety starts going kooky and I can't really be myself. Where I'm talking live of myself, I've got to be boring me. He's as bad as me, so. The rope's too rubbish. Are you trying to snap my finger? Yeah, it's hard to keep, it's hard to have a little flow, do you know what I mean? A crack when you're with snap people that, that you're not comfortable with. That one didn't snap. Well, I'm gonna get a flow with this guy. I'm going to wrap up. I'm going to have a little clean up at the back of the boat because I've got a lot of rubbish here. In the back of the boat? Back of the motor. Yeah. I'm gonna call it a night. The boy's tired. I need to get him home. Get him a little McDonald's on the way. Um, 
thanks everyone who's come and watched anyway. Cheers for anyone who's new to the channel and whatever. I really appreciate you all. Um, Craig, no one's fishing, mate. Just me. Well, there was one behind. I don't know what they're doing. I've got no rods out as I sat there. Um, yeah, if you can message me, that'd be spot on. Well, thank you very much, mate. Um, thanks for all joining and that. All have a really good Christmas. If anyone gets lonely, I don't just say this, I genuinely mean it. Um, yeah, securely and neatly over here, Mick. Look. Hang on, where's my torch? i say what, look. That is the fishing wagon, mate. Rods everywhere. <laughs> nah, seriously, though. Uh, another note. Angling and anxiety was created to help people out, do you know what I mean? If you're struggling with mental health or anything like that, drop me a message. If you're lonely over Christmas, drop me a message. Christmas is cushy if you've got a family and stuff. If you haven't, it's hard times. I've, I've been in hard times. I've, I've stayed in horrible hostels and not been able to see my mum over Christmas because I've been a scumbag. Um, so, yeah, you live and you learn. It's only a chapter in life, brother and sisters. Um, so, yeah, just just know I'm here man but thank you very much anyway again for watching I love you all I appreciate every single one of your subscribers members a lot of you um, so thanks for, thanks for helping me stay focused and it's down the straight and narrow I love you all take care everyone all right I'll see you soon peace man Alf Alf get your seat boy